In this video, I want to introduce you to a gentleman by the name of Mark Peterson. Now, Mark Peterson has been a friend of mine for, oh, I can't even... I can't even count how many years we've been working together and he's been an expert in the financial industry for a number of years and uh, he's a member of our President's Club and he sent in this analysis for us to take a look at here on live cattle. Now uh, Mark's specialization is in the traditional commodities probably more than anything else. He works with a number of uh, individuals uh, helping them hedge their their uh, actual crops, so uh, corn, wheat, soybeans, live cattle, feeder cattle, these types of, of products, and he's very much into timing. And as you see, as you can see here in live cattle, he's drawn out for us this timing calendar on the live cattle market here in Track and Trade. And you can see that he's got a 65-day calendar on from drawn in here from highs to lows, from peaks to valleys, on each one of these trends throughout the last year here in the 2018 June cattle contract. You can see that he's identified in here 13 highs, 15 lows so far, along with the 65-day uh, overall trend. You can see that drawn in here from the top and the bottom. And he's calculated that all out for us, and he's pointed out for us that Wednesday, March 28, 2018, will be 65 days on this cycle, and could also be a 16-day low, so coming in here on this additional smaller term time frame. So according to this, what we should be looking for is we should be looking for some kind of a rebound or a give back against this previous trend. So we've got a nice big long drop in the market, and on this 65-day rebound, Mark's calling this the bottom, saying that there should be some type of a rebound or a recursor based on previous history. So I'm going to drop down to track and trade and you can see this is my track and trade version of the software. My, I use a little bit different colors than Mark does. He lightens his up which is nice. I saw uh, he uses a beautiful yellow background but I have the black background on here but nonetheless it's the same software. And what I'm looking at is I'm seeing the stochastics and the momentum indicators are way down here in the very far oversold region and we're preempting the crossover the blue light system. So according to Mark's analysis what we should be doing in here is looking for an opportunity to take a long position based on his timing as well as the momentum and the stochastics down here looking for a rebound. Now one way that we could do that obviously we could wait for a crossover uh, intercept the market on a rebound we could come down to a smaller time frame uh, we could uh, enter with a, a contract position but my preferred method on this one would be coming in here with an option and I I think what we would like to do is come in here with an option and we're going to look at a 65 day option opportunity and we're going to come in very simply and buy a call option. So we're going to come in and we're going to buy a call option and you can see a call option right at the money is right around $1,400. Uh, one tick out of the money is about $1,200. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the $1,200 call option. So we go ahead and we place that order in there. And we're relatively confident that we're going to get a turnaround or a rebound in here. So there's no reason why we can't come in here and, uh, you know, pick up some some additional uh, premium by selling some options. So let's come in here and sell a put. And we're going to sell that below the market down here. And you can see that there's a lot of downside potential. We can come way down here and still pick up $450, $380. So there's a $550 option right there we could pick up, sell a little bit of premium, help us pay for the one that we bought. We could also come in here and sell a call. We could call it, send a, sell a call above the market and pick up a little bit more premium if we think we're going to get a bit of a rebound. Now we could measure using our Fibonacci ruler and we're just going to go from the top of the trend to the bottom of the trend. And we'd probably want to put our uh, sell call up here around the 61.8% level. So we're going to sell a call right up in this region here. You can see we pick up about another $280, maybe a $360 option in there. So we go ahead and pick up a little bit more premium on selling an option out there and have this little kind of a little butterfly spread pattern in here where we're looking for this market to actually rebound a little bit. So basically the maximum profit potential we could pick up uh, between the two orders there is around a, a $2,400 profit potential as this one would, would rally up and start losing as much on the option that we sold as we started making on the one that we bought. So that would be our max profit potential 2420 plus the premium that we picked up down here 550 on this trade. Now there's one more component piece to this trade that I want to double check before we jump in with both feet. The first thing I want to do is I want to come over to Ag Seasonals and I'm going to do a scan. I want to find out, seasonally speaking, in the past oh number of years, we got in here 77 years, I want to look back seven years and see how uh, live cattle has reacted 
from a seasonal standpoint. So I'm just going to hit search in here and I've got in the criteria that I wanted to look at just at the meats. And as we can see in here we've got um, live cattle and you can see from this search that we have live cattle over here between March 28th and April 20th over the last seven years. Wow, look at this. Uh, six of the last seven years it's been bearish. It's actually gone down in price between uh, March 28th and April 20th. Last year was the one year, 2017, where that was not true, where the market actually rallied during this time frame. So we're actually, with this, I'm going to take this information, drop back down to our charting application. With that information, this market, according to our seasonal trend, will continue down over the next couple of weeks. So I want to be very careful and cautious here, and given that information, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to buy a put and I'm going to strangle this market and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy a put to the downside and put in there a full butterfly pattern and we're going to play both directions of this market. Remember the seasonals are telling us seasonally speaking over the last seven to eight years this market has fallen in price except for one year which was last year the market did rally. Now Mark's analysis is telling us that this market's going to rally so we're going to play both sides of the market using options and put in a beautiful little butterfly pattern right here.